Hey everybody, I'm Kimani with Van Street Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, mirror alignment with your laser. So grab your blue tape and your wrench, and hopefully this video will contain some information for you, whether you've already set up your laser or this is your first time, to help you avoid some mistakes I made and get your laser set up faster. So before we get started, Tip number one is your laser does not have to hit dead center in the mirror. Um, I've seen a lot of people online trying to set up their mirror and stressing out because the beam is not hitting dead center on the first mirror or the second mirror and spending hours trying to correct this. But honestly, your beam just needs to hit the exact same spot as it travels down the length of your machine from mirror to mirror to mirror. So. If your beam is not hitting dead center, it's okay. Your main focus is to make sure those beams align from when the mirror is close to the mirror is far away. But if you are chasing a more centered beam, I'm gonna show you something that I learned much later after my machine was already set up. Okay, so back at the tube, I have the red and black 80 watt. Uh, your tube may look different than mine, but this works either way. Um, so let's say you did a test fire and you see your beam is maybe a little bit more to the right or to the left than what you want it to. On the 80 watt models, if you loosen these screws here and in the back, you can actually shift the tube a little to the left or a little to the right to then try to get that beam maybe more centered. Uh, if it's a little too high or low, uh, this model, uh, the 80 watt model does not come with the adjustment here. Um, I think it comes on like the 100 watt models or the bigger models, but you could also try to shim it a little bit under here, um, but you know, anything that'll just you know act as a shim just to get it a little bit up. But for the most part, this beam is fairly aligned, so you may just shift it left or right if you're trying to chase center. So that's one thing I learned later after I had already been set up and tested, and it just, you know, it can help a little bit to get you there. So now we're going to get into the actual testing and aligning of our mirrors. So you're gonna take a piece of the blue tape I mentioned earlier, and you're gonna put it right over this frame. And this is mirror one. And you kind of just rub it in there, kind of, you know, get a little imprint of the circle. There you go. Uh, and then you're going to set your machine to about, you know, 10 to 15 percent of whatever the max power is. So just set it for 10 to 15 percent. Uh, on my 80 watt, it's 15 percent. And you're going to do a pulse fire. And it should leave a, a little black circle right where the beam hits. That'll let you know. One, your alignment from left to right uh, and to see if, you know, how close you're hit, hitting to center, which once again, you don't have to hit center, but it'll let you know where you are. And if you're maybe too far over to the left or the right, and then want to work on some of the adjustments on the bracket. Uh, tip, uh, tip for this is that if you fire from your tube to this piece of tape, and instead of getting a solid black circle, you get something that looks like maybe a half moon or like a donut uh, with, you know, blue tape in the middle, uh, you may have a malfunction with your laser. Um, my first tube was bad. It happens. Uh, and I spent hours before I found that out trying to align my mirrors. So if your tube is not firing properly, your alignment won't matter because you'll always be getting mixed results. Tip number two before you start adjusting any of the dials, do a test run, uh, you know, do your tape method, fire from here to the next mirror to the next mirror, and see, you may be fairly in alignment and you don't have to do that much work. Uh, so instead of trying to adjust one of the mirrors and knocking yourself out of alignment, I would say, go ahead, test from mirror one to mirror two, and I'll go over that in a second, and that'll show you how far your alignment is off. So as we can see, I did a test fire. 
I'm getting a, you know, tiny black dot right in the center. So I know the laser is firing properly. And I can't see the, you can see the indent in better lighting, but you know, I know exactly where my laser is hitting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of tape and go to mirror two and do the exact same thing. All right, so take your key, open up your side door, and we can see this is where mirror two currently lives. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a piece of blue tape right on the front of this mirror and you're gonna move your mirror all the way to the back of the machine and you're gonna do a test fire. Then you're gonna move it all the way to the front of the machine and you're gonna do another test fire and you should get two, you should get what looks like one dot maybe burnt out um, but if you're getting two dots in two separate locations then that means that your alignment is off between the two. So as we can see, I have a hole where my circle would be, but I only have one hole. I don't have, you know, one here, one there. So that means that the alignment from front to back is correct. Now, I'll show you what would need to be adjusted if hypothetically those dots weren't aligned on the back mirror. So now, uh, after you've done your pulse on mirror two, and you can see where your alignment is, uh, if you are aligned, then you can move on to step three. If not, and you notice that your second beam is maybe a little higher or a little lower than your first beam when it was close up, you're going to want to adjust this screw. So this screw is your up and down. This one is your left and right. And this one back here is your diagonal. You probably don't want to mess with the diagonal too much. Most adjustments can be done with the up and down or the left and right. So you're gonna just do another test fire, see where your beams are hitting. And you know, you're just gonna to wanna to make micro adjustments with a uh, eight millimeter wrench. This isn't the right size, but I'm just doing it for demonstration. So you're gonna to wanna to make micro adjustments. And when I say micro adjustments, I mean, imagine it like a clock on this circle back here, and you're just gonna wanna go like maybe a little bit towards one o'clock or a little bit towards 11 o'clock to make those adjustments. And then you're gonna wanna do another test pulse and see if you're getting closer to overlapping those two dots. And remember, you don't have to be center to the mirror. You just need to be centered on both dots when the mirror when the beam is close and far away so do that test that out and once you're able to kind of get it so you're only seeing that one dot similar to the tape i had then you can move on to the third mirror so the third mirror is actually the one on the laser head um, and you're going to want to make you know basically do the exact same thing you know and take a piece of blue tape Put it over there, kind of make your indention, and then you're going to want to send the machine all the way over. Do a test pulse. Bring it all the way to the other side. Do another test pulse. You can do that in reverse. And, you know, take a pen or a Sharpie and just mark, you know, so you know, like pulse one, pulse two, if they're not overlapping. Um, and then if they're not overlapping and they're not giving you one solid circle, uh, you're going to go to mirror two and make similar adjustments that you made on mirror one. So as you can see, we see our blue tape in the background. Um, this is mirror two. 
So now, like I said, what you're going to do is you're going to, this is your up and down. This is your left and right. This is your diagonal. You're going to want to do your test uh, up close, mark it so you know which one it is, do it farther away at the other end of the machine, do another test pulse, see where your circles lie, see if they line up. If they line up, you're good. Uh, if they don't line up, you know, kind of make your micro adjustments again, like one o'clock, two o'clock here, you know, one o'clock, two o'clock there to get them to where they line up. Uh, because if, the whole point is that even though it's not dead center in the frame, it means that the machine is parallel to each other along the gantry, which is, this is the, this is the gantry. Um, so that means that as it moves, it's hitting the exact same spot. And when it moves left and right, it's hitting the exact same spot. And it's just going to get you consistent results when you're actually working on the laser. So assuming everything went the way it should, you get that one solid dot right in the middle of your tape. Which lets you know that you are aligned. So what you're going to do next is the four corners test. And what the four corners test is, you're going to take your, your blue tape, you're going to put it on the laser head, and you're going to do a test pulse in all four corners of the machine. So we'll start from over here, pulse, another pulse, back here, and then bring it back to the front. After you do all four, you should have another test that is just a solid, you know, point with, you know, maybe the center blown out if, you know, your, your legs are strong. Um, but that means that Anywhere you move the machine at this point, you know that it's hitting center to the same spot. Not center to the mirror, but center to the same spot. And you're going to get a consistent beam anywhere you move the machine at this point. So now, once all of that's done, you've done your four corners test. Now you're going to want to test the laser head itself to make sure uh, you're getting the beam where you need it. Okay, so now that you've done your four corners test, the last thing we're going to do is make sure that the laser head is aligned with the tube um, so that it maybe makes sure that the mirrors aren't hitting uh, off to the side or anything like that. So to do that, you're going to take another piece of tape, put it on the bottom, kind of press it on there because you want a tight circle. This is the one where you really want to make sure that you're, you know, you see the indentation and you're really hitting center. So you're going to do that, hit a pulse. And you see your indentation and it should be a nice centered dot. And if not, you're going to want to make similar adjustments now, you're going to be doing this, but you're almost doing it like it's upside down. So I'm just going to tilt you over this way. And so, once again, now, this is where your up and down is. This is where your left and right is. So you're going to make those micro adjustments again, just in case it's not hitting, you know, dead center down the tube. Because that's the, that's the amount of precision you want. You want it dead center down the tube uh, to make sure that your beam is fully concentrated on your work surface and not bumping against the outside or outer rim or anything like that and deleting your power. So you do that and then we're going to now make sure that we are getting a consistent beam from up close and towards you know our surface line. Okay so what you're going to do is you're going to raise your machine up to the point and you can put any type of uh, scrap material you may have. I have this cardboard here um, but if you have a piece of scrap cardboard, you're going to, want to raise this machine up until right before it touches the nozzle. And then you're going to do a test pulse. And then you're going to lower the machine down. And as I lower it, you can see my test pulse. 
Um, you're going to lower the machine down uh, about an inch, inch to two inches. I would say probably if you have your keys, it should come with a little block like this. And this block is supposed to be the uh, distance from the tube to your work surface that gives you the most accurate uh, beam, uh, the most concentrated beam. So if you lower it down so that this slides under it. So I'm just touching, but I'm sliding under it. And now as you can see my laser, uh, my sight beam is right on top of that circle. I'm gonna do another pulse. And I have two pulses right on top of each other. So now your laser is pretty much aligned. Um, there's other things you can do to, like sometimes these are fairly close, but not exactly. So there is uh, something called a ramp test that you can do. Uh, Brant Workman has a video on that. I'll put a link to it uh, below in the description. Um, but he does a really good job of showing you how to do a ramp test. Um, and then there are files on the Ohm Tech Facebook page to show you how to make your own um, measuring card. So that way, you know, if you're maybe a couple of millimeters higher or lower than what this is, you can kind of always go back when you get a new surface to test that out. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. At this point, you should definitely be aligned if you're getting those consistent dots down there and you pass the four corners test. Um, if there's anything you have questions about, please leave a message below and I'll get back to you. Um, or you can find me on Instagram at Van Stray Designs. So yeah, thank you. And I hope this saved you a lot more time uh, than when I first did it. Thank you.